Demi Lovato has a, a lot of her songs on YouTube. And talking about YouTube, we also have a channel there, uh, Major Online TV. Please go look uh, up for a lot of our uh, adlots. But Mavi, uh, let it go. Good morning to you. Our motivation was also about letting yeah. it go and making sure that you leave everything to your God. Yeah, let the negativity go. Yeah, yeah let true. the negativity go. And the bad go. ones, really. Exactly. And today is Friday. If the week hasn't been really good for you, I guess this song is targeted at you. Let it go. Let it go, Charlie. Ha, what uh, can you do? Eh? So let it go and be yourself. I like what you're wearing, by the way. Thank you. It's by Alice nice. Couture. Good morning to you. Yeah. And uh, keep them coming. Alice Couture is uh, my And fashion. keep the discounts yes. going down as well. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it should go down more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that we can afford. Yeah. All right. So um, let's look at um, the stories we have. Uh, on the front page of the Daily Graphic. Uh, right? Definitely, but I want to say my WhatsApp is back today, so you can send me a WhatsApp message and a regular SMS. It is SMS. back. It is back, man. Wow. Yeah. Uh, let's look at transmission has been restored. <laughs> the Daily Graphic news paper, front page of the graphic, Ghana launches radio telescope to harness potential of space science, and the president radio. was, uh, yeah, it says uh, radio telescope. Oh, I do which one is that? Yeah, a live, a video now. Eh, a but you, you also have to do something. Is we have the things sitting there. So if this is what we can use it for. It is uh, true. Story says, President Nana Dodankwe Kofuad yesterday inaugurated the Ghana Astronomy Radio Observatory at Kuntunse in the Greater Accra region, describing the development as the beginning of a new era in the country's quest to harness the potential of space science and technology for accelerated national development. The new era, he said, will not only witness the deepening of knowledge and skills developments in electronics and information and communications technology for Ghanaian scientists, but also enhance their capacity to contribute to the world body of knowledge in the ever-expanding field of astronomy and space science. Okay. All right, uh, and if you look at the picture on page three, you'll find uh, the team that visited the space site with the president. That full story on page three, also on the front page of the graphic. Police instructor allegedly rips recruits. A uh, very bizarre story there on page 16. We'll get to it in a bit. Seizure of our equipment illegal. Exxon Cubic Group uh, at a press briefing yesterday, and Roland gave you details of that in our AM News a while ago. Don't decriminalize homosexuality, and this member of parliament, Reverend Fojo, uh, was on our show this week as well. Yeah. Was it just yesterday? No, it wasn't. Roland? Yes, on Thursday. Was it? On Thursday. Okay. All right, let's get to uh, page 16 in the graphic, a bit of that story there. Uh, and it says, a 39-year-old police training instructor is facing the law for allegedly raping a 25-year-old female recruit at the National Police Training School at Tessan or here in Accra. The prosecution's claim is that Inspector Frank Noagbe, a physical training instructor, allegedly raped the female recruit in a washroom on April 1, 2017, despite several pleas from her that she's a married woman. Inspector Nwagbe has been charged with rape and is currently before the Accra Central District Court for committal proceedings, a prelude to the eventual trial at the High Court. He is, however, on bail in the sum of 100,000 Ghana cities with two sureties, uh, which was granted by the Accra Court where he had applied for bail. Details of that uh, incident in the Daily Graphic newspaper. Okay, uh, back page of the Daily Graphic now. CMB market structures pulled down, leaving traders dejected. That's uh, also another, in fact, it's the main story on the back page of the graphic. It says, scores of structures were brought down yesterday at the CMB market in Accra in a demolition exercise that is shrouded in controversy. The exercise has put the livelihoods of hundreds of petty traders on the line. It was carried out by a private developer, Stephen in team of Pioneer Merchants Company Limited, who is said to have acted on a court order. So uh, structures that were demolished at the market, the CMB market in Accra, uh, and the bulldozer that did the destruction, captured here by Maxwell Oklu, 
and it's there on the back page of the Daily Graphic newspaper. Yeah? Okay. Center spread of the paper, uh, refocus attention on early childhood schools. President uh, Kufuado has urged churches operating mission schools to refocus their attention on the establishment of early childhood schools. Uh, and then Water Resources Minister briefs journalists on ministry's activity. Uh, this was a meet the press, and I said, okay, I'm not sure we've seen a lot of, of, uh, of the things the minister is saying. What's he going to tell us what he intends to do? But apparently, uh, there's a huge debt uh, that he's inherited. He talked a lot about it at a press briefing yesterday. Lots of things in the Daily Graphic newspaper, Roland. All right, so we have the Daily Guide uh, as an excerpt we have to look at. On the front page, two NDC gurus under fire over six Six million dollar snit scandal. Mm -hmm. That one. figure has gone up. Yeah, is it that figure even has gets gone better? Up. It gets better or it gets worse? Uh, well, with I mean, the figure, those who want news, really, it gets better. But them. that's that's to get better news. That's our snit contributions, yeah, and this is how best they can use I'm it. Not, I'm not understating <laughs> that fact. Yes. Well, there was a detailed conversation, and we brought bits of it in in the AM news. Yes. So Raymond Aqua sitting down with the new SNIT boss, boss and a lot of details about this technology, this system, uh, that is not even working to full capacity. We're told. Uh, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Uh, and then it's, uh, it's about uh, how, well, Joshua Alabi, who took over from Kwame Pepra, former finance minister as board chair, uh, seemed to be hitting each other um, in the spine or in the ribs especially on social media with statements, also in the media about who did worse and who didn't do well, et cetera. Hmm. Uh, we also have VC boss cover blown over 230 million Ghana City extra cash. And the story is captured um, on uh, page two of the, three of the paper. It says a report of the Special Budget Committee of Parliament has revealed how the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Charlotte Osei, requested for more money for the commission, although the general elections had been concluded. She was demanding approval for the balance of 223 million Ghana cities uh, from, from the total of uh, 1.09 million, which was acquired or required for the 2016 general elections. However, an audit report indicated that the initial money allocated of, uh, to the commission was more than enough. Um, and the former finance minister said Tepe had released, uh, we're told, but the breakdown of the expenses of the commission put before the special budget committee showed that uh, that that was it for the entire election, and etc. Okay. Continuous, continuous, yeah. continuous. So, well, a cop, uh, a police officer who has been grabbed with weed. Uh, you have a picture of Constable Boedi, who is on the front page. Mm. Also, up there, go up from in there. Very interesting. All right, so those are the stories we have, basically. All right, so I can do the finder. Front page of the finder newspaper. Uh, gas deal to revive Asogli to increase power generation to 560 or 580 megawatts. Comes with a picture of the energy minister, Boachie Jacob Roland, you remember. We sealed that deal with Equatorial Guinea. Apparently, the first batch of liquefied uh, gas is going to go to Sunon Asogli. Yeah, good. That's so good that's news. why. Yeah. Uh, also, IFC OPEC funds suffer another blow in courts. One district, one factory to be launched uh, today. And our colleague Richard Kojonyako, who is in the central region, will uh, get to us on this in uh, the AM show. Yeah, on the AM show this morning. Uh, SNIT's board didn't approve $34 million. Uh, so Roland was talking about 2X uh, chair of the, of the SNIT board who are making uh, some revelations and allegations here and there. This one is coming from uh, Professor Labi, and the story says former SNIT board chairman, Professor Joshua Labi, has revealed that the former director general of the trusts, Mr. Ernest Thompson, spent $34 million in additional costs on the controversial ICT contracts, 
without prior approval from the board. He said the expenditure items came to the attention of the board after the funds for the procurement of several high-tech software and hardware had already been released. Sections of the public are astonished, uh, we all are, that managers of pension funds would implement a project to automate manual procedures as snit at a cost of a whopping $72 million. Mm, details of that in the final newspaper. But it's interesting, you know, people only get out to tell us what some other person did that was not right. And okay, we actually so only even get to know the entire story okay, wait. when so a new that person even so comes you're saying into that what, the picture. What, what will be happening from now? We'll get to know when the MPP is out of power. Is that what you're saying? See, look at your mind, though. <laughs> I'm just saying. saying. <laughs> so chairman was present. Manager didn't do the right thing. What and did the next he one? do? What yeah, did he do? Yeah, what, what I'm saying is that um, even the people I mean, that's the reality, yeah. involved would only begin to tell you when another <laughs> administration comes in, they are making revelations. That, that's what then, I'm then they come about. to point yeah. fingers at each other. Yeah. But the point is that I, we always say, if it was your own business, if it was your own business, these are monies that people are relying on that you actually invest and make a lot of profits so that when they retire someday, they will not be coming to collect 300 Ghana CDs and 500 Ghana CDs, knowing it won't do anything to them. You get what I mean? Yeah. People are looking up to um, SNIT to actually, like you said yesterday, who, somebody like that was, was recounting memories of you know, people having to travel from different places. I mean, we're just opposite the SG, SSB, and we see people who have gone on pension every day you know, come to collect their monies. And sometimes you stand up there and you look at them and you wonder, so how much are they taking? You know, and can, they, can it actually take care of them? So if you look at these huge sums, and we're not even talking about what they are paid, though, because we know that the bosses are really paid well. And these are monies that we want to depend on when we go on retirement. If it was your own business, would you have made this kind of investment? Six, would you have gone into this deal if it was your own business? And to think that, well, if we were to take what we have, because usually what we have is what the new administration will come and tell us, is that even the deal, cry every day, I mean, the, yesterday I listened to him and he said, it's like putting up a building, like you've paid someone for a building. And then they put up, maybe they put up like the roofing and they come and tell you, you have to give me money to do the windows. Mm. You know, so yeah. every day. So it's as if that even though you've paid for the, You've paid for the roofing and windows. Yeah. It's as if it's only the roofing that has been exactly. done. Exactly. So windows. what it means is that you didn't even get into the details of the contracts. And you didn't ask yourself, would we, would this be able to sustain us if yeah. the numbers were to increase mm. in maybe in the next 10 years? And that years? is why I was saying that, <laughs> and, and that's why I've been saying that consistently in the, in the Fourth Republic. We've seen that it's only... It's uh, Ghanaians only get to know the reality of how state institutions are run yeah. only when the government is when out there's of power. a change. Yeah, that's true. And and I, 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 I don't we have an auditor, it's very sad. we have an auditor general's office, uh. we also have various internal auditors, oh. financial accountants, etc. We don't get to hear anything until there's a change in government. And then when we hear these things, they'll say, Oh, it is political perse mm. persecution, mm. but at the end of the day. If, if, if you did something right, then you wouldn't be persecuted, mm. would you? That's, and that's true. That's a question we have to It's have. a shame, but like, just like many other things, we'll talk about this and we'll move on. Even people who, who are said to have done something wrong, we won't see anything happen to them, and then we'll move on. That's it. Meanwhile, is our money. Our money. How much? Charlie, do you look at your pay slip and the deductions on that pay slip? Huh? Yeah. It's Whew. huge. Sometimes, I think you're better off in private work so that you don't take anything to like you're an entrepreneur, you're doing your own business, and then you decide where to invest to save towards pension. Mm. Because when you hear that this is what you're, they're using your money for, people have worked so hard, and somebody just sits at one place, takes a pen, and just agree to anything. Really? Anyway, I don't know, it's for you and I. I mean, it's not just for us on the show to talk, but it's yeah. for you as well, because it's all of our money. Really all of our money and if this is how they are investing it this is just one of the things that we've heard though you can imagine the number of deals that we haven't heard about mm -hmm. Ghana people they yeah. chop money the Ghanaian Wonder Times money? you done mm -hmm. okay the Ghanaian Times we have on the front page of the Ghanaian Times Rexec 
suspects foul play, death of four galamseers in mining pits. And we know that, that uh, we brought you the news yesterday on this. Uh, was a VPA Exton Cubic Group in Tassel over permit to mine bauxite and President launches radio telescope at Kuntunse. So those are the stories. But uh, get, get the Ghanaian times. So you see, Kuntunse is not a village after all. Who said it wrong? It's history. Kuntunse is history. We have a number of <laughs> estates <laughs> there. So no problem. Yeah. You're through with the times? Yes, I'm through Well, there's the a time. story uh, in the fine that, that I thought I would read a bit of. Uh, so uh, as part of efforts to improve reading in the Keto South Municipality, Values for Life, uh, Ghana is an NGO. It's opened the 27, 2017 reading clinic project uh, at Avoma Basic School in Aflao in the Volta region. And the chief executive officer of that organization is Ms. Abla Jifa. Gomashi, and uh, I guess uh, big ups would be appropriate uh, for opening up a reading clinic in Afla. We need a lot more of these projects around our country. Yeah. All right, Roland. Mm. All right. So we have um, the Daily Dispatch newspaper. It says, uh, apparently, seven banks control fifty-six point three percent of market share. Seven. Only seven. Mm. But we have license given to several, so we are taking <laughs> the rest. <laughs> no wonder some are collapsing. Uh, Echo Bank, Unibank, and GCB, they top. And then Charlie, as, part, as part of Roland. the seven, also, we have uh -huh. Stan Charts, uh -huh. Backlist, uh -huh. Stan uh -huh. Fidelity. Uh -huh. OK, cool. Is your bank? You know, okay. why do you think I'll say, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't want to so insult this so, <laughs> so these are the banks. They said, <laughs> Ghana's cat cat uh, mm, category one banks are Echo Bank. Mm -hmm. GCB, mm -hmm. Unibank, mm -hmm. Backlist, mm -hmm. Stambik, mm -hmm. Stanchat, mm -hmm. and Fidelity. Okay, according to the who? rest. Wait, wait, wait. According to who? Wait. I mean, yeah. According to a survey by Pricewaterhouse Coopers. Whoa. And they made it public? No, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a public. Yeah. It's a public. Hey. Ah. Oh, no, then we have other categories tier, tier two. <laughs> One more tier two, no? <laughs> UBA, Car Bank. Zenith Bank, UMB, Access Bank, Ghana, Societe General, and HFC. Then tier three, or more, more no, down. Are you saying, did they put it as, was the classification tier two and tier three, or that's your own words? Yes, no, no, tier, tier. It's even tier, the ah. fourth. And then, and you know the, the tier one, that's the one I read, the seven. They hold the 56. The market show, we have Uche Mu 100. They hold 50, so you can imagine. So the rest are sharing less than 40. Oh, crap. OK. And I'm even, I'm even sure that year two, they are capturing maybe some, I want to know. They capture even 30%. It's OK. They capture 30%. It's OK. So 30% <laughs> plus this one, I just said, yeah, can you know, yeah. You be But this is what year? Because I'm not sure. As at, as at 2016. Uh, uh, but we're in 2017. Oh, but you never know. No, but the thing is done half year, quarterly half year. So That's I'm, how I'm still saying that we're in 2017. Mm -hmm. So somebody may, may have jumped from the second um, classification the category to the first oh, one you may never know we're told that unibank let people U grab the unibank paper even used to, used to talk let people grab Uni the paper unibank was even topic but it's still within the category <laughs> roland it's okay Chal, let me read more tier two uba car bank zenith bank umb access by tier three prudential bank gt bank first atlantic bank bank of africa gm bank okay yeah, that's my bank too gm bank uh fbn and bs and then we have tier four that you have Omni Bank and the rest. Okay, very good. All right. Let me see. Business and financial. Let's do a business and financial times. Uh, MFI is given April 2016 deadline on new Bank of Ghana rules. I just want to know what MFIs are. Uh, microfinance Institute. Why? <laughs> microfinance Institute. One more abbreviation. Correct. Come. Osafo Mafo was investors to agric financing and plan to diversify economy must be holistic. All right. So those are the stories we have. MPP is set for historic conference in Gwe. Yeah, that's coming up this weekend. Yeah. It's coming up this all, weekend. All, all roads lead are to Cape Coast. Coast. Okay. Exactly. Uh, and well, the central region is hosting two major things because today, uh, at a Kumfi, the one district's one factory. That's the first, uh, the first factory 
is going to be when you're beginning it for what do you say short factory exactly okay yeah the first that's space okay. or that can that well that's the first factory that's going to be outdoored i guess yeah. mm. and there's a whole um back and forth on that as well uh, be sure MPP and DC would definitely come into the picture. Uh, but let's do the Ghanaian Observer newspaper, front page of the Ghanaian Observer. Ioko hands for more rots at SNITS. A $72 million OBS software scandal exposes more chop chop at nation's pensions management body. Why don't they just collapse? Like, how many of us, uh, hey, Roland, if you have the option, uh, if it was not about mandatory, eh, because the paper is talking about SNITS. If it wasn't mandatory, would you still, would you, would you contribute to SNIT? If it wasn't mandatory, would you contribute to SNIT? If they were not deducting that from source? Um, that is, if, the, if, if consistently they were handling the way they, they're handling the funds, no, I wouldn't contribute. See? Mm -hmm. And there are private pension schemes all over. They should just let it be but our those business. Those private the pension schemes could also go, go bankrupt. It's true, go, but listen, how about those who have retired and they're getting 500 Ghana CDs today? Uh, and some were like um, GES di district director and things like that. Some were heading the regions, but they are on low, the amount is really low on pension. Today. It means that their basic so was low. I mean, that's yeah. Like no, not well. Yes. No, because also the value of the money. I mean, this is the 2017. Yes, but so I'm the saying value that isn't the same. What your what you take as your basic, etc. Uh, it's it's from the beginning of your working life. I get it, and yeah. I'm also talking about the value of that amount because that amount, whatever you were taking, could have been big back then. But fast forward many years In on. Inflationary pressures, I guess. Uh, don't bow to pressure over hom uh, homosexu uh, homosexuals. That's uh, Reverend John Intim Fojo, who is also a member of parliament. It's good we have it in parliament, right? Uh, Tobingo Group donates $58,000 worth of drugs to Sierra Leone. This uh, distill mm, Ghana boss attacks journalists over his investigations into expired Savannah Hunter's dry liquor on the market. Uh, Rift focus attention on early childhood education. Echo Fuado to EP Church. That will be it. Uh, oh, Minerals Commission blocks Ibrahim's Exton Cubic Group. Another headline there. That will be it for the Ghanaian Observer newspaper. And that will lead us to uh, the online, online portal. Online online you've, got the, you've got my cute phone for the messages. Go there. Now on stream. <laughs> 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 What's up, platform? <laughs> Uh, but let's go to my online if we can quickly as Mamavi looks out for the messages. MPP conference 1,250 security. Uh, paperless for the Kufado lauded for bold initiative. Next story. MPP conference 1,250 security personnel deployed. It will be taking place at uh, the, the stadium in Cape Coast where the NDC he held the Onapo. Um, I, th I heard they're using two venues, but we will bring you a lot more on that when. So Richard the Onapo Stadium will be hosting the MPP <laughs> conference. What, that's the official name for the stadium? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I just <laughs> decided to Christian it, conceptualize Christianing. Okay, so we go uh, next one. New owner of UT Bank, Capital Bank to review lending rates. We're just talking about the GC Bank. Mm. Okay, uh, next. Uh, Cardiac and communal diseases surge in Mayan communities. I told you, I have a friend in the University of Cape Coast. Uh, they did some research. Yeah. And uh, good morning to you. Um, Dr. Isian Beidu will be coming to you for you to talk to us on the subject. They did some research and uh, found that those from mining communities suffered from cardiac, kidney, and other communicable diseases. Mm. A lot of them will still say in the face of everything that uh, they know, they will say in Tiobia, we still want to go ahead and do well, it. It's your lifelong sustainability that's yeah. at stake I, I guess you know when you're ignorant sometimes you do things on the side but yeah. when you're plagued with disease on hindsight you yeah. have done better it's true yes. okay so next story switzerland landslide at least eight missing mm. and you know somewhere in the volta region, in there, the was volta a, region? there was a mass slide yeah um, Switzerland, there was a mass slide recently. So Sierra Leone, uh, Congo, Ake Switzerland. Acreages of farmlands mm. were, were covered. Uh, I think it was in near the Adakui Mountain or somewhere like that. Okay, so we have, I'm still paying cash for forty seventy two uh, million dollars off to a new snake boss. Mm. 
Because mm -hmm. he says, you know, Yoko Simon's 15 witnesses over a $72 million snitch faulty software. A Kumfi factory not like Mohammed's wasted $26 million commander factory. I tell you what, fortunately, we've got Mutala Mohammed, who's a former deputy trades minister, joining us on AM Talk this morning. That's so why we brought him in? Eh? Yeah, amongst other things. Oh, so all you need to know about the $72 million snitch software scandal in infographics makes it really easy. Okay, uh, let's click on it and see. But get breakfast before, because some of the things will break you. So <laughs> they will break you. We've got other things, including videos of our content here on Joy News. Let's uh, read some messages. Uh, this is Muttalip from Chirapone. says, one district, one factory is coming soon. The president is too much, you say. Nakoto Razak in Tamale, our good friend, uh, says, uh, there is eight months in office. Uh, Nana led government. Yet unemployment, high cost of living on the road. Lunch. Uh, or launch of one factory is a is a continued project of the NDC. Good morning, you say. Uh, it's been disputed. So today we'll get the other uh, side of it because we know that Mutala Muhammad started that and it's been disputed. What has he got to say no, on I this? I think that the name well. one district one factory is New. which party coined it. So we have to stop the argument. Okay, <laughs> we know what, what two hundred. Senior high schools, yes, another factor. So, all right, so VRA needs to prioritize uh, hydropower. Kuku Kwati is the deputy finance minister. While Afoko will remain suspended, mm. according to acting chair of the MPP, he's <laughs> contesting <laughs> to be the substantive <laughs> chair. Uh, seizure of our equipment, part of uh, government which hunts Exton Cubic. And then we have uh, equipment seizure costing us $40,000 daily. Al Hassan Stephen Williams from Tamale, you sent us a message. Uh, feedback well taken. Mm. Mm. You're told by the snake boss that don't panic, your money's are safe. You're worried about the listen, the, the pitten. Listen, I mean, they should be given accounts. It, it shouldn't be just when there's a new administration. There um, should be there should be some structure. Snakes. They should be coming exactly. Has, has they, they publish their PNL. If their financial statements okay, are public. Okay, if I have learned anything in the past couple of months, it will be not to trust those things. Yeah? The banks that have suddenly vanished, those that were swallowed, um, their books were looking nice, the published ones, <laughs> were they not? <laughs> they were even getting awards, <laughs> but where are they today? Uh, so well, I, beg you, so I beg All you, I beg you. If I had a choice, like I would say, stop deducting and taking it to Snape, give it to me, I'll put it in... Uh, my own private pension. I mean, we trust the Providence and the, the other pension schemes, the private ones that we have, better than this one, don't we? Yeah, okay. we do. Ex <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> listen. Uh, uh, let's go to the Africa page of the BBC. On the Africa page of the BBC, but we'll go to the main page. Um, Thai seek ex-Prime Minister after verdict no-show. Uh, border controls are tightened uh, after uh, Shinawatra fails to show up for a trial verdict. You know, like kill off Shua, uh, Shinawatra, and the Swansea were also uh, told nearing deal for their former man, and uh, that's Man City's Bonnie. Samsung hair faces corruption verdict, mm -hmm. and Ling Jiayong could face 12 years in jail if found guilty of bribery, embezzlement, and hiding assets. Samsung is one of the leading phone manufacturers in the world. They have lots of money, lots of money. There's this story, uh, are we able to do at the Africa page? There's and this then, uh, malaria. And then, and then please go up. They said praying for asylum. Uh, thousands of Iranian Muslim migrants in, ne in the Netherlands are converting to Christianity. Oh, yeah. Why? There's a very uh, interesting documentary that's been done uh, by, I think, was it a reporter at the BBC? Mm. Uh, yeah, a video documentary of people who've been converting. Yeah. And, and those who converted and still were declined, uh, but they, they still say they are Christians, they are practicing. Okay, so Angola's ruling party takes strong lead, this one. Ah, that's another the, that's old the man defense for minister old that you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. The governing MPLA party receives nearly two thirds of the votes, provisional results suggest. And PRFM broke code with South Africa campaign 
uh, Bell Potinga is found to have broken UK industry code of conduct, says South African opposition. Mm. And it's got to do with the. And then Kenyatta calls MPs greedy. Dos Santos party takes early lead. UK's Johnson in landmark visit to Libya and in court bid to annul Grace Mugabe immunity. Uh, all right, so we have other stories there. Africa page of the BBC. Please make sure mm -hmm. that uh, you type base with that, as well as majoronline.com. Okay. As you do all that, we have a couple of your messages as well. So yeah, we we'll do. read one or two for you, and then we'll bring in Benedict also, because now the draws are in. We always talk mm -hmm. foreign. UEFA Champions League, and Manchester United seem to have gotten a very cheap... Oh, please. I don't know. I, uh, think, it's, I think it's witchcraft and wizardry. Who cares about what you say? Uh, Snets using contributors' money like flood, but gives the contribution little. <laughs> and you put a sign of a drop. Shalom from Jolalien Nyasa Avdapa sending us this message. Guy, you're right on points. Uh, okay, more messages. This one says, uh, oh, oh, you media practitioners are welcome back to the world of us, the commons. You are now passionate about this NIT so-called IT project because you're directly affected. The media have simply failed in their watchdog role of fishing out some of these on behalf of the society. I will exclude a few like Anas. Good morning. That's Gordon in Dan Suman. Okay, thanks for that message, Gordon. Uh, here is another one that says, uh, oh, you're, you, oh, you say we don't read your messages. Bunny up from Tamale, but I'm- Just uh, read that one. Amos Bunny up from Tamale. Very unfortunate. Unfortunately, so you're accusing us in your message. Very so unfortunate for you, you to be accused. You actually don't say exactly what you no want problem. to say. <laughs> uh, I mean, no beefs. We're cool. We're cool. All right. We're cool. Uh, We're Rocky, cool. Rocky in Germany says, uh, our leaders do have solid plans for our country, Ghana. It's rather unfortunate the ways and manner policies and implementations are carried out leads to nothing. An example is the NHIS. Uh, any government in power will always struggle to find money just because they keep getting it wrong. Have a blissful weekend, guys. Rocky, enjoy your weekend as well. One more message and we've got to run, but we'll come back and share a lot more with you. Uh, later on. This one says one factory, one district is real. Nana and his team are good. Buzua and Gushigu. A lot of your comments will come up later in the show, so keep them coming through via WhatsApp and regular SMS. And make sure you stay with us. We've got Mutala Mohammed, who's a former trade uh, minister and member of parliament, and also uh, Henry Kwabina Kokofu is also a member of former member of parliament for Ban Tamade will join us. And then we'll head to Cape Coast. Richard Kojonyako is our man on the ground. We'll talk a lot of things from one district to one factory uh, to what will be happening tomorrow with the NPP. Yeah.